a 44 years old man undergone a digital gastrectomy for cancer. He is slightly anemic and therefore received a transfusion of four units of packed red cell to cover both the existing anemia and associated post-operative blood loss. He is noted to develop ECG changes that are not consistent with ischemia. What is the most underlying pathology? Here are the options. Options are hyponatremia, hyperkalemia, hypercalcemia, metabolic alkalosis and hypernatremia. So what may be the option? In a patient who received 4 unit pack red cell after the post-operative period and develop the ECC changes. So what changes the 4 unit pack red cell? So here we can see transmission of the pack red cell has been shown to increase serum potassium level. Why this serum potassium level increase? The risk of higher with large volume transmission with old blood. So what happens when we collect the blood? First of all, let's see the intracellular. Uh, that means within the cell there is calcium concentration 150 milli equivalent. On the other hand, the outside that means blood it is 4 milli equivalent per liter that means the calcium uh, potassium it is mostly the potassium mostly stored in the cell so when there is cell restriction this 150 milli equivalent per liter potassium it enters in blood and show its effect so what happened when we store the blood we can store the blood up to 35 days which is the five weeks so it is longer duration and we know the rbc lifespan is rbc lifespan is 120 to 120 days so what happened we collect the blood all the rbc uh, will uh, living 120 days no because already some of the rbc are 40 days or 60 days or 70 days so what happened after few days the rbc broken down and in case of the stored blood what happened the rbc after their lifespan they are broken down and the huge use of the potassium there enters in the blood circulation so there is increased risk of potassium level increase in case of the stored blood because they are stored blood the red blood cell which lost their lifespan they comes into the fluid space and when we infuse in the blood the potassium level is very very Hi. and what are the complications of the massive transfusion transmission here we can see there may be coagulopathy because the coagulation factor their lifespan is very very short so when there is a blood store for 10 days 15 days or 7 days in this condition the coagulation factor are lost or destroyed then hypocalcemia hyperkalemia sometimes hypokalemia but usually hyperkalemia that means there is red cell destruction and huge amount of calcium enters in the blood and also there is hypothermia in addition in case of thalassemia one back blood transmission it increased 250 milligram of the iron which is also very very important information so what is increase here is the hyperkalemia because we infuse four unit of the pack red cell and the red cell usually destroyed when it is stored and this high level of potassium enters in blood and it causes the ECG cell.